I, 43M, need to send a letter of thanks to Dyson. I discovered my wife, 49, of 17 years, 18 month affair when I updated our fan filter on the app it uses. Like the title says. Sorry, I'm posting from my phone. History, married 17 years with no children of our own. She's been divorced once and had two daughters that I helped to raise, now 28,23, prior to our marriage. We've really only had minor bumps and issues, in my opinion. We've had an open door type of communication with each other. Whether it be work issues and venting, or issues, or just how we are feeling. Often we will just talk on the couch about life and philosophy in general. I've felt that we had a great connection and a pretty heavy, fulfilling life. We are both in good shape and maintain a healthy lifestyle. I work in the medical field and due to things being what they are, have been putting in a decent amount of overtime over the past 5 months. She works in a legal consultancy and has been WFH for the past 5 months. Which has made things a bit distant, but on our days off we are tight. Changed the filter on the Dyson fan in our bedroom last night. Asked wife if I could use her phone to update the app, in order to reset the change filter alert. Mine was on the charger next to the front door. I noticed she had put on a pattern unlock, and, kinda wanted to ask her what that was about. As I was finding the app on her phone, a notification for Snapchat popped up. My stomach dropped immediately as I read the small tag. I'll bring the special toy. It said. My brain understood the words, but my mind just stopped functioning. She asked what was the matter, after I guess several minutes of me just sitting and staring at the bedroom fan. My wife has an obligatory quarterly out of town meeting, that puts her two states away for five days every business quarter. I knew it was about this coming trip Monday. I've perused Reddit for years anonymously. I've read 100s of stories that began like this and never once have I thought about it being me that would sit on my bedroom floor and be in such a cold, dumbfounded state. I recovered and said, oh just getting info about the IP and router. That's how the fan communicates through the app. I have a Chromebook that she logged into Facebook yesterday. I took a week's vacation short notice, my supervisor is a cool chick and once I laid it out what I may have discovered and have to do. I'm going to need time off. I've been up all night reading her chats. She left to go to the office just now and I made sure the Google location history was on and find my phone was active. I'm so suspicious of everything she does now I can't look at myself in the mirror. She doesn't know I saw the message notification. I logged onto the messaging system that Verizon uses and have signed in under her number and name. There are at least 15,000 that date back to February of last year, messages, memes, flirty pics, and some X-rated ones too. She stopped texting him this way about three months ago. Didn't stop texting him, but stopped using the message app through Verizon. I'm guessing they switched to the Snapchat because it's discreet. I'm not on any social media in any way shape or form. I am clueless. I just figured out that you can't log into Snapchat through Facebook. But, it just takes an email and password. And she has used this Chromebook to do that. Hell, she used it just three nights ago lying in bed next to me rubbing my back while I went to sleep, she messaged him and him lying next to me. It's a younger man from work. He is married and has three young children. He and his wife have Facebook. I've met him twice shook his hand. I'm at a complete loss again and have paced slash wandered my house, that I custom built for her, for hours. I almost can't feel anything. What little that I am processing is just white hot rage. I logged on Snapchat and there it all was. I have called my best friend who has been divorced three times, don't get me started on his partner picker, he recommended a vicious lawyer. I plan on recording slash saving everything. There's pics of them. I'm sure her phone or his has video. I desperately want this to be a bad dream. She's said terrible things about me. She's told him my insecurities. She's told him I love you. They have made no long term plans so this feels like a purely relationship. It almost makes it better, but also makes it so much worse. Like she's literally throwing away our life for this. She knows cheating is an absolute deal breaker for me. Our usual routine on the day she leaves for her meetings is I take her to the airport and drop her off with a long goodbye. I can't even think about what I have to do now. 
My friend says print out the entire thing and see if I can recover things from Snapchat. From what I understand I can't, unless I have her phone. My plan is to see the lawyer today, I'm paying a ridiculous amount to jump in her appointment line. Get the ball rolling and hopefully have a plan of action from her. I really want to book a flight and follow my wife to the hotel she's staying at and catch her in the act. I have access to her hotel booking options and have put myself as a contact person, so I can get a room key without alerting her. I think I'm just going to log on to the messaging apps when I get into town and watch it happen in real time. If I could get the papers ready in time I'd hand them to her, instead I'm just going to hand her the printouts. It's a 600 page PDF. His wife accepted my friend request. I am debating sending everything now. I am seething. I just don't want to lose any advantage. I'm going to fly there Monday afternoon, log in and see what they've talked about, get a room key to my wife's room and drop off the package in her room with my wedding ring. I'm going to sit in the bar and watch my phone blow up. I'm going to call the AP and tell him to meet me in the lobby slash bar and to bring my wife down. Then tell him that a similar package has been been sent certified mail to his home address to his wife. As well as a Facebook message that I plan on hitting send on as I tell him. It feels petty and weak, I want to rage and scream, but I'm helpless. This morning all I could do was give her a peck on the cheek goodbye, I really can't stand to look her in the eye. I somehow have to get through the weekend. I guess I'm asking, is my spiteful, hate-fueled plan worth it? I just want to inflict pain at this point. I want to hurt her emotionally. I feel eviscerated, emasculated. I will not entertain an apology. This is the one act that is unforgivable. It takes so many steps to cheat on someone. They all can be stopped until the sin is complete. Then it is done. Should I just confront her tonight? Or catch her? I don't think I'll update. I'm truly thinking about never using social media again. And only being with a partner that has a similar outlook moving forward. EDA, I found the special toy. Keep in mind we have a chest full of adult fun devices. It was already in her carry-on. It's one of those remote control vibrators. The ones that can be controlled by an app. It looks expensive. I meet with the lawyer in 90 minutes. Update, I have no clue how to post an update. I'm just editing my post. I met with the lawyer. She was actually kind, and I dare say compassionate with me. She told me point blank that her job was to represent me in this fight for my future, and my job in all of this was to tell her the complete truth and not make her job harder. I went to Kinko's and printed the file out. Cost $534 for color, because I wanted to have the pictures pop. Shout out to Chris at Kinko's for not making a scene when the nudes started coming out. He asked what it was all about, so, I told him, he was taken aback, but shook my hand and said sorry. I went home and crashed for about 3 hours and STBXW came home around 19.30, usual time. Lawyer said to forget any Hollywood confrontation in a hotel bar. That it would look pretty crazy and not be coming at all. So I'm sorry to all of those people that wanted the high drama. She's right ultimately. There's two routes to take with divorce, contested, or non-contested. She said I would have to notify my STBXW that I have retained counsel and in order to proceed my STBXW would have to either contest the divorce or we would go through mediation and file from there. So, she got home about two hours ago. I asked her if there was anything going on that she wanted to talk about. She said nothing other than the election. She then asked what was bothering me. I wanted to cry, but, truthfully I was cried out. I said I was curious as to why she had a remote control vibrator in her luggage. The look on her face was actually more telling than anything I've ever seen. She looked panicked, pale. She began to breathe faster, sweat. I asked why she would have something like that. Who had the code and the app to it? She stammered and the tears began. As I pulled out my three file folders worth of text exchanges I asked if the APS wife would have it. She cried and pleaded that she could explain. I said she had five minutes to do it. Of course she couldn't. I told her what my attorney told me to tell her. I also told her to leave. She screamed it was her house too. I calmly told her that maybe, but, I would be notifying everyone about her affair and betrayal. 
that even the girls will know. Or, she can leave now and find living arrangements for the time being. Hell, she'll be at her work conference for a week. She was speechless. I calmly pulled up Facebook and showed her the APS wife. I said do you want me to tell her or are you going to do it right now? Tears and moaning and pleading with I love you and it wasn't supposed to go this far. Then my favorite, you can't do this. I said well it looks like I'm doing it, as I sent the APS wife a message with the file of their escapades on it. I prefaced it with apologies and a brief explanation. I haven't heard back from her. I leafed through the stacks of paper and started reading random excerpts out loud to my STBXW. I just wish we could spend the day attached to each other. Just you inside of me. You feel so much more intense than any other woman I've ever been with. She is still sobbing and asking to talk about us. She says our marriage can withstand her mistake. I told her I would never forgive her, her word is, and that she threw away the last 17 years. I'm still entertaining the whole tell HR thing and I am going to tell everyone about her decision to end our marriage by cheating. Thank you to everyone who responded. I feel bad I couldn't respond to all the PMS and responses. I have a therapy appointment scheduled Tuesday. I kinda feel extremely elated, I'm shaking, and incredibly low right now, I kinda want to die. The house is pretty quiet except for her crying and moaning. I told her to not come back after her trip. I'm currently sending friend requests and trying to get everyone on my page, I'm just going to send it to everyone that way. I am going to wait until the morning to call the girls. I raised them from when they were 11 and 6. They are women now 28 and 23. I don't know what to tell them, or how to handle them. 